uh, we are assisting our partners at the Virginia Beach SPCA. We're going to be transporting this pack of adorable beagles back to them for a chance to find a loving home. These dogs have come from Invigo, a dog prison in Cumberland, Virginia, that PETA's undercover investigation uh, exposed was being extremely cruel to its dog victims, depriving them of food, water, and adequate veterinary care, and even adequate space. And so this is the first day that these little dudes and gals are getting to experience the outside world. They've never been outside of a cage or a pen. They've never walked on grass. They've never known the sun on their back. They've never had a name or a toy. And so today we are delivering them to their forever homes, I hope. That's awesome. So what's it like seeing dogs finally get freedom, picking them up, uh, up and taking them to the, you know, their next owner, essentially? This is, uh, this is a dream come true, I think, especially for me, who was so involved in the undercover investigation and knew how hideous the conditions were in that dog prison and to just meet some of these dogs and, and you know, see their faces and know that they are safe at last is, my heart is full today. <laughs> how do you, so tell me about beagles as a breed. Yeah, beagles are a, a very docile, friendly breed and that's part of the reason. In fact, that's the whole reason they're used for experiments because they don't turn on their abusers so they don't bite, you know, and they're very, very um, happy in packs. And so these dogs, we hope, are going to either go in pairs or to homes that already have confident dogs. And so they are, they're a wonderful breed, and unfortunately they are an often exploited breed because of that. Tell me about your mission. Well, PETA's mission, of course, is to end vivisection or experiment experiments on animals. And that's partly because these suppliers, these places that breed these animals, this place was not an isolated incident. This industry breeds and imprisons dogs and other animals, including primates and small animals, for useless, painful, and deadly experiments. And these dogs were being shipped all over the world, as far as Taiwan and Japan and Europe in order to be experimented on and then killed. So to know that 4,000 of these dogs will never be experimented on, will never be used as a live test tube, is amazing. And tell me how you personally feel about these dogs and the experience of what you do. Uh, this, I mean, this is a day that I would have dreamt about and have been dreaming about. Um, it's obviously, I, I work to liberate and, and fulfill our mission every single day. But to meet the dogs whose fate we've been fighting for for so long is, is amazing. It's just really, it, it's a dream come true. I, I could not be happier right now. Awesome. <laughs> Even though it's 150 degrees, I'm happy. You don't care. Sure I don't care. Do you have any, this is Brandon King. Hey. He's a reporter with us at CBS. Oh, News. okay. Hey. Brandon or Brandon? Yeah, it's Brandon. Brandon, hey. I just applaud everything that you guys are doing. Thank you so much. I'm curious, are there other facilities just like in Vigo out there in the country? Yes, are there, there are. Country? Actually, there's a facility called Marshall Bioresources in New York, and believe it or not, they have 21,000 dogs. And so our fear, of course, is that the facilities that have been buying from this prison are just going to buy from the other prison. And so, yes, absolutely, there are other facilities. Marshall Bioresources is the largest, and Vigo was the second largest and there are others as well. But, you know, this, this case has opened Virginia's and the, America's eyes to the fact that animals are still used in experiments in this day and age, in the 21st century. We put men on the moon, we can, we can advance science with modern technology, organs on a chip, computerized data models, and that's the way of the future. The way of the future is technology, not antiquated animal experiments that are not just expensive, but also useless. So what would you hope happens? Well, I, <laughs> yeah. well we're hoping that Congress takes action. There's a, a, all kinds of, there are a couple of bills in front of Congress. There's the FDA Modernization Act, and PETA actually has a research modernization deal that people can learn more about on our website, PETA.org slash New Deal, that is a roadmap to non-animal experiments and the future, a responsible and humane future. Nice job. Thank you, Clearly really passionate about what you do. I am. I can see it. This is, there are no words, really. I mean, I spent, you know, the session getting bills introduced and passed, and it's, it's just, it's been a really long journey, and this is a, this is a dream come true. I mean, to, to, and then to meet them and to see them is, 
you know, you, you just, you know, it, it really is, means the whole world to me. Yeah, I think I'm, what, I think part of my story, I think a really good portion of it, and really like drives home, they don't know what a, they haven't seen a stuffed animal. No, they, they haven't had a name, That's you know. These, really these dogs, with. these dogs were born in a cage at five weeks of age, they get tattooed on their ears, and that's their number. And that's how they're identified from birth to death. They've never had a name. They've never, well, this one might not have it. We don't know, here you go. This is, this is the dog's identification. All of them have tattoos like this. And these dogs never have names. They never have the opportunity to ha let their personalities shine through. They're essentially bred and sold and used as if they are inanimate objects. And, you know, these dogs, just like any dog, they have feelings, they have personalities, they experience fear and loneliness and pain, and they deserve the opportunity to know a good life, a loving home, respect and dignity. And so we're, today's a good day for beagles. Right, do, do you mind showing him the tattoo? Did you see their tattoo? Uh, the dogs are all tattooed. That's amazing. I've never seen anything like that in my whole life. This is the industry, you know? These dogs are treated like, you know, factory farmed animals. They are factory, they were a factory farm. That, that was a fact, if you ever saw the satellite view of this facility, it was a factory farm. 5,000 dogs in sheds, 